West Florida State College presents Outlook, a public service presentation of the college and Cox Communications, focusing on the events, activities, and instructional programs of Northwest Florida State College. Hello there and welcome to the Northwest Florida State College Outlook Show. Don't adjust your television sets, I'm not your regular host, Julie Cotton. I'm Ramsey Ross, Director of Athletics, and I'm pleased to be joined with uh, head coach, uh, our new head coach of the men's basketball program, Coach Steve DeMeo. Julie will be joining us in a minute to talk to Anthony Boyer about the Collegiate High School. But first of all, Coach uh, DeMeo, first of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're excited to have you on the show today. I'm fired up to be here. Well, Coach, uh, you know, for those of you who aren't quite familiar with you just yet, tell us a little about your background and, and how you came to NWF. Well, I've, uh, I've been coaching for 20, this is my 26th season coaching basketball. I've been around the country, uh, different spots, uh, coming from Hofstra last year, um, lived in um, Newberry, South Carolina, as well as Orlando, Florida, and Providence, Rhode Island. So originally from New York City, but uh, I have an affinity for the South. And when Coach Forbes decided to take the job at Wichita State, you know, I obviously immediately got in contact with you in mm -hmm. one way or the other things did work out for me, and I'm happy to be here, and it's a great place to live. Well, what was it about the, North, the job at Northwest Florida State College that attracted you to this position? Well, I mean, obviously, um, you know, you're, you're dealing with some high, high-level academic kids as well as um, basketball guys as well, and uh, just the level of play is tremendous. The facilities are great. Obviously, I've known your reputation for many years, as well as uh, President Handy as well, and, uh, you know, when you have the president and the athletic director that are behind a program, obviously, um, you have a very good chance to win, and obviously, Steve Forbes and his staff did a tremendous job the last two years going to the national championship game. So um, I do know I have some big shoes to fill, and I'm going to try to do that. Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll do a great job in doing that. <laughs> um, now, you've been on the job for a little over two months. Yes. Uh, so how have you adjusted to the college and specifically to the area coming from New York? Oh, like I said, I, lo I love the South, and being near the ocean is great. I mean, I went to the beach on Sunday, which was tremendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's just a, it's a great place to be. People are friendly, and uh, everyone on campus has been so helpful. And, and I tell everyone that. It's our program, and for us to be successful, we need the people in the Learning Center to, be, to help us out. We need people on campus to help us out, and I, you know, I think everyone likes to work together here, and that, that's probably why you guys have been successful, because everyone has ownership of the program. Absolutely. That's a good point. You know, we always we used to call it Team OW. Now we call it Team NWF. <laughs> Everybody here is on, uh, on the same page, so it does pay off in dividends in the long sure. run for sure. Now, you have a lot of Division I coaching experience, uh, but you also had success at Monroe Community College up in New York um, as a junior college head coach. You come into the Panhandle Conference, which is widely considered the best conference in the country. Uh, how excited are you about uh, playing uh, in such a competitive league? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's uh, for me, having a chance to coach my own team is really, really exciting. And I've done that a few years back when I was at Newberry mm -hmm. Division II school. But the level of guys I'm coaching now are equivalent to um, guys you're going to be watching on TV when ESPN has their games on. We have great mid-major, high-major guys. So for me, that, that's the most exciting part about it is, is developing them also into better y young men, of going from young men to men. And our staff is doing a really good job of not only working with them on the court, but making sure they have the right path towards the academic side and social side. Absolutely. And now, actually, then this, this past weekend, we did some community service projects. You know, worked over in um, Fort Walton with the, um, the 5K. Walk. Yeah, yeah yes, that's yes. great. Um, and so uh, you kind of came into a unique situation. Uh, many coaching changes happened probably late spring. Uh, this happened to be kind of late summer. Sure. Uh, you came in and uh, actually right around mid-July, uh, early to mid-July, and you already had all your team intact for the most part. Sure. Um, had about eight or nine or ten kids here on campus. And so uh, how was that transition? And they had already been two or three weeks with Coach Forbes, and now you take over a program and have to get them to understand what you what your expectations are. Well, most of the time you take over a program and you got to go recruit like five, six, seven guys. And and, and to be honest with you, it's, it was it was an easy transition because sure. you know when you're recruiting, I mean that, that takes over your whole life. Mm -hmm. So I had a chance to get to know people on campus. I had a chance to get to know the, the players here we had here, as well as their families, their AU coaches, the high school coaches. And usually you're trying to just grab guys wherever you can at that point. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean it made for a smooth transition. I, and I owe all my thanks to you know Coach Forbes and. and uh, and uh, Eric, as well as uh, Coche. Coche, exactly. Yeah. And, 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 but I think that's going to help our team be more successful because I was out a chance to get to know these guys and work with them through the summer. 
and uh, I'm fired up to, to get the season going on November 5th is that November 1st that home game absolutely and, and the, the continuity kind of accelerates in that and that's yeah. from that standpoint and also knowing coach Forbes a little bit too and he actually made the transition for me a lot easier mm -hmm. and uh, you know so hopefully we get the ground running well, it seems like your kids have really bought in. Uh, so tell us how practice has been going so far in the preseason. You've been at it now for um, counting the summer. You've been at it now for about um, almost two months, really. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I think the guys are doing, a good, like I said, a good job. And, and we, we've been playing over the last week because we've had college coaches coming out, watch the guys recruit. So we got away from practice. We got to get back to it uh, these next couple of days. But the guys are picking things up, and I think they, uh, they're enjoying their time. And, you know, we're going to be an up-tempo team, and we're going to, we're going to put, put the ball in the hole a lot and score a little bit. Might be a little, I know Coach Forbes was more focused on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. We're going to be focused on defense, too, but we're going to get up and score the ball. And we've got some great shooters, and we've got big guys, small guards who shoot, uh, you know, f athletic guys. So it's going to be an exciting brand of basketball. Well, uh, you've got a, you got a unique team this year. You sure. have a lot of mature guys. Um, I think uh, four or five of our kids are three years removed out of high school, yes. whether they redshirted. Prep sat school, out yep. a year prep school whatever yeah. uh, so you have a very mature team and you also have a very big team yes. uh, that's got to excite you and w w especially when you get into the heart of the league sure I mean the funny thing is when you're a coach your job is to put your players in the best position to help you win games and be successful and you know we've got 11 guys on our roster right now who all could play for us and basically any of them could start for us mm -hmm. so my job is really easy I mean I just got to pick five names out of the hat <laughs> and, but but to be honest you know, really like we have we have so many different lineups we could play we could play big teams small teams we could be go quick team and uh, you know so we're gonna we're gonna definitely we're gonna have a lot of success I, I believe in that for sure but it's gonna be a fun brand of basketball to watch yeah and I hopefully we can get more students to come to the games and the community always comes to the games but uh, I think the, that, the, the up-tempo style we're going to play is going to be fun for everybody. Well, absolutely. And, of course, uh, we, we sit here today um, late September or, or mid to late September. And so uh, as we – from this point on until this, to the open on November 1st, what are you looking out of your team to grow and mature and, and, and develop from this time uh, up to the start of the season? Well, it really comes down to uh, – they've got to develop a little bit of more toughness. I think, you know, when you're playing in the summertime, you're playing pick a ball, you know, you're not held accountable as much as you're supposed to be when you're, when you're practicing. And that's, that's my job is hold them accountable for, you know, getting back in transition defense and just contesting shots. And, and the, the funny thing with this group is they like each other. Yeah. Like everyone likes each other. So it's not like the ball is just being stuck in one guy's hands. And I hear these coaches coming and talking about other schools and, you know, those guys who are selfish. We don't have that selfish thing on our team. We've just got to develop a little bit more toughness and grit and everything will fall in place you know talking to jason shea who was very involved here for the last few years in the success and you know the coach forbes and stuff and those guys did a phenomenal job of holding these guys accountable on the defensive end and we've got to make sure our our staff does the same thing absolutely well coach uh i'm ready for the season to start already let's go. Uh, let's you know, go. Let's absolutely go. Uh, we're looking forward to great things thank you for joining us thanks Stick around, and we, when we return, Julie Cotton, your normal host, will be uh, visiting <laughs> with uh, Anthony Boyer, the principal of the Collegian High School.